These two teams met back in February where UTSA did come away with a winner at home. And there is Jackson with the floater. They can run, they can score. And if you're not coming to put the ball in the basket, you're going to fall behind really uh, quickly as you see another two-point basket there by the Roadrunners. He's in his 94th consecutive start as a Roadrunner. Two players for UTSA, De Nicolai, as well as Frohn. And there's an easy basket for Cortez Edwards. They're not scared to throw it up, just can't get anything to go as McGee, a, a layup opportunity that couldn't go as well. Deep three-point basket right there by Javon Jackson. First three games of the season due to a ACL injury from last year as Griffin gets inside the paint, shows that he can hit it from the top as well. Definitely Coach Doc Sadler is going to need him down the stretch. He averages about 10 points as he tries to get inside and the shot is rejected by Bior. Eight seconds to go in the first half here. Let's see what the Golden Eagles do. Did a nice job working it out to Gabe Watson as Gabe Watson hit the three-pointer at the buzzer. The two, two key players for the Roadrunners already with three personal fouls early in the second period. And there is Tyree Griffin weaving through the lane with the layup. His face right there as he helped lead his ball club down. As Larry mentioned, several passes. As there's a nice pass from Tyree Griffin inside to Tim Rowe. Curry. And uh, so you see them dropping back in the zone. Let's see what the Golden Eagles do against the zone. Should allow them to get uh, outside shots. You should not be able to penetrate from the from the wing like that. As Javon Jackson forced a three-pointer and threw up an air ball. Now Southern Miss does a nice job inside to Cortez Edwards. They're shooting at one point only 25%. They came out red hot in the second half. Hit their first six shots as Cortez Edwards now with 20 points, UTSA is an excellent team that's going to continue to fight as there's a turnover. And Kevin Holland's dunk attempt is rejected. 10-point lead. And the way this team shoots, 10-point lead is not very much at all as Javon Jackson is able to create opportunities. Javon Jackson throws up a long three-pointer. Drain gets his hands on the basketball, but couldn't come down with it because they knocked it out of his hands. Pass inside to Harper Baker. Allen went for the steal. Now we've got a mismatch. Cortez Edwards goes inside with his left hand. And again, the big key is from the beyond the arc. They're shooting 50%. Javon Jackson's shot doesn't go. Cortez Edwards has it. And this game is going to be in favor of, again, the home team.